What's up everyone and welcome back to another video and in this video as you can see it and I um, I'm in the trading cup uh, landing page so this video is about the trading cup and ipapakita ko dito yung walkthrough tutorial kung paano nga ba gamitin yung mga iba't ibang order types na available so basically pa yung order types yun yung how we can buy or how we can sell so meron tayong number one yung yung unang una pa we have you can buy at a mark at the market price right but uh, but now meron na rin tayo uh, last year meron na rin nito but I just want to emphasize this and make a video tutorial for everyone na bagoan pa lang meron na tayong conditional orders and meron na tayong good till cancelled orders or yung tipong E1 orders. So what do I mean by this? So, one, you can buy at market price. But ito na yung solid. For those na may be busy, right? Let's say, um, OFW, iba yung time zone, may trabaho, altab warrior, may student, online classes, parents, uh, nutulungan yung anak para sa online classes, right? Mahirap mag-trade. Now, it's possible because... Meron tayong, last year meron na, but I just want to emphasize again, number one, conditional orders. Ibig sabihin nito meron na yung mga buy on breakout na automatic, tsaka automatic cut loss. Diba? So kahit di mo bantay yung merkado, ang magagawa mo na ito. And next, yung good till cancelled, diba? Na expiry type. So that means you can leave your orders in the system, in the market, diba? Diba? As until you cancel it. So, ito na yung E1 orders. Parang, let's say, gusto ko mag-buy on breakout sa ganito stock at 5 pesos. Iwan mo lang dun. Tapos, sa ganito mama sa order, sa presyo mo, tsaka lang may execute or hindi siya makancel, hindi tumama doon. So, ito yung way namin, develop namin to para sa mga, yun yung feedback eh. We always listen to your feedback. Kasi may iba, nagsasabi na, yun nga, BC, mahirap mag-trade. Kaya, ginawa namin ito. May conditional orders, auto-buy on breakout, auto-cut loss, and good till cancel orders. But without further ado, you know, to the walkthrough tutorial. Okay, so now let's um without further ado, let's go through the walkthrough. Again, as mentioned na nga dun sa intro natin, we have uh, three types of ma orders sa pwede natin gawin sa trading cup. So we have number one, we have market orders. Number two, we have what do you call? It? We have uh, conditional orders, mga auto stop, auto buy on breakout, auto buy on support, and then third. We have uh, mga E1 orders, mga good till cancel orders. So, buksan ko lang yung chart. Okay. So, first, um, dadaan natin lahat ng orders. Let's start with the normal market orders. Yung kung ano meron tayo. Yung una lang yung... Yung nung wala pa mga ibang orders. Ito lang yung meron. Yung usual. Diba? So, click mo lang buy kay Ayala Land. Diba? So, lalabas dito, may kita natin yung uh, last traded price. So, nag-auto update naman talaga yan. Uh, real time. So, you wanna buy 500 shares. Diba? Basic lang. Andiyan na yung actual price. Click buy. Um, order field ka na kaagad. And then, if we go to, and then if you want to sell it, it's actually only the same thing. Click sell. Nakalagay na, shares on hand mo. 500. Excuse me. And then, pwede ka magalagay na remarks. Pogi. And then, click sell. So, it's basically it. Um, yun. Benta na. If you look at your records, yan. May loss ka na kaya Ayala Land. So what else can you actually do dun sa dito sa tab natin ng limit orders? So spot nyo to. So actually, you can also do this. Sa dito, buy orders higher than the market price will be automatically executed at the market price. So what does that mean? So we all know naman na medyo hassle. Let's say, if pwede lang natin order, is tatapatan lang natin to. E paano pag sobrang volatile, nagpo-fluctuate na 27.35, tas 27.50, tas kala mo game na, tas yun nag-iba ulit, 40 ulit, medyo hassle yun. So what you can actually do, and this is mostly for... um Mama, bibili sa stock Say, a stock's breaking out ka na And we know naman na kapag break out, mabilis yung move So actually, what we can do is We can place a buy order higher than the market price So say 28 Para ma-fill tayo kaagad at the current market price As long as hindi siya mag-above 28 bigla Say 28, click buy uh, Pwede yan, yan You successfully bought 500 shares, 27.4 Because um, yung enter mo na price, which is 28 Is higher than 27.4 Parang ganun So basically, Pag higher than current market price yung nilagay mo sa order, may feel yan kaagad. So that's for if you're buying mga breakouts, yung mga mabibilis na galawan, kumbaga. And the same thing, of course, is true sa selling. Let's say, nagbe-break down yung stock, tapos sobrang bilis, tapos you want to, ano, you want to cut loss na. So yan, cut ka na kaagad, pwede mo ilagay, kaya 26.50, right? Tapos lagay mo 500. Diba? So now, given na ganyan, diba? Tapos limit order, so yan, yung market price, Asa taas pa rin. So, may feel ka ba sa 26.5? Hindi. May feel ka sa market price. So, sell. 
So yun. So sabi, you have successfully sold 500 at 27.45 because yung last price is greater than yung in-enter mo na, na order price. And yung logic dyan is, ay nako, ang bilis na breakdown, kailangan ko na mag-cut, boom, lagay mo lang. At lagay mo lang yung, at lagay mo lang lower than market price para ma-execute ka agad. So that's for ano naman, kapag mabilis yung breakdown, you have to cut your losses. Now, ito naman yung common natin na lagi naririnig na, ay, ano, di muna ako sali kasi ano, um, yung nga, may full-time job ako, baka di ako makatrade sa work, or, or may anak ako, hinahandle ko yung online class, or or may work ako, hirap maging alta warrior. That's why last year, we actually implemented yung conditional orders, or yung buy on breakout na automatic, cut loss na automatic, tsaka yung um, buy on support na automatic. So all you have to do, let's choose a different stock, kasi you wanna buy nickel. So buksan na natin si nickel sa chart natin. Oops! Trading cup. Close natin to. So let's go to nickel. Open the bid and ask. Yan. So we have third. So yan yung current ano natin no pressure. Okay. So let's say we want to buy nickel. Right. So ano tayo? Let's say oh, sorry nickel. So the first thing you do is click buy. Then click conditional. Na conditional order yan. Orders will only be executed when market price reaches the order price set. Say you want to buy five thousand shares of nickel, but you want to buy it um at three point thirty one. Diba? Then, yun lang. Click. Nakalagay. Auto buy on support. Click buy. Then, yun. Nakalagay. Your order will be posted or executed when your bidder ask price is met. And then, if you go to pending orders, you'll see here yan. Meron tayong conditional order sa 3.31. So, antayin na natin na tumama doon yung market price para ma-fill tayo. So, ngayon, um, even if, ano ko na pinakita ko hindi siya buy on breakout. Baka umaabay yung video pag inantay ko kasi mag-breakout pa to si Nickel. Pero, basically, Um, pwede yan, let's say, nilagay ko na 3.31 auto buy on support Pero pwede rin na auto buy on breakout Gusto ko lang kasi makita na mag-execute siya So pwedeng 3.4 ilagay mo or 3.5 Same thing, auto execute siya So ngayon, let's, let's take a look at a different stock naman Let's say now, ngayon maglagay tayo ng auto cut loss So see now Okay, current price Diba, 2. what? Oh, buy 2.24, so, teka Sana may tumama 2.25 para mas madali example. Let's see if we can choose another stock. Let's say MM. Current price 3.06. Ito, perfect. Let's say you wanna buy, ano na lang, CMM. ba? Diba? Say, bumili na tayo na MM. So, MM. Very smart. Come on, base natin. So, 5,000. Buy. Okay, so bumili lang tayo. But now, let's say we want to set an auto cut. Ano gagawin natin? So, gagawin natin is, again... Now we click sell and then we see ilang shares meron tayo we do 5000 and then we go to conditional orders and ito na yung malupit ngayon So not only can you set auto cut loss levels but you can also set auto target price levels or target profit so let's say 3.07 that's auto cut to gusto ko 3.05 then click sell So yan, same thing lalabas dito ngayon yung presyo 3.06 so you have to so tingnan natin ano una ma hit yung 3.07 ba o yung 3.05 So ngayon, hindi lang siya ano, dalawang order sa point set mo. Pagkabili mo, pag meron ka na, pwede ka na mag-set ng auto cut, pwede ka mag-set ng auto target profit. So ngayon, literal, pwede mo na iiwan, parang antayin mo na lang. Okay, let's see what will happen first na lang. So yung conditional orders, talaga yung ano, yung game changer para sa mga taong may work or of double of double different time zone or kahit estudyante may online class, hindi mo bantayan yung merkado or parent, may anak, tutulungan mag-online class. So now, through this, pwede mo na gawin parang Okay, pero of course guys, we can only set orders during market hours, no? 9.30 to 1. Pero pwede mo na, kasi napagplanuhan mo na yung trading plan mo, dahil you, yeah, you plan your trades, sa input mo na, ito, si ganito, bibiling ko at this level, blah, 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 automatic set na, para at least ready ka na for the day or for the coming days. And so wala, di pa tumatama mga pending orders natin, pero tatama yan mamaya. So, antaya lang, ano una mangyayari. Tapos, let's go back to nickel. Ano ba nangyayari kay nickel? Outs, may dumagdag pang harang na ganito. Anyway, sige. Ano ba yung price na nabili ko si Nickel? Ah, gusto ko. Ano ba gusto ko dun? Ah, auto buy on support gusto ko. Teka. Parang matagal na... Mag okay, so pwede natin siya i-cancel. I-buy natin yung stock. Para gusto ko makita na mag-execute siya. So, punta tayo kay... Sino ba? Sino ba mga magandang stock ngayon? It's easy dito. Gusto ko say auto buy on support. So, current price 3. Ito, perfect, perfect. Ayan. Pending order hit, MM sold. So, tumama sa take profit natin. So, pag refresh natin si MM, wala na siya. Tumama na sa TP natin, no? 
And if you go here, ayun. So, na-sell siya 3.07 dun sa take profit level natin. So, yun, solid. And then, so ito, gamit natin example si Dito sa automatic uh, buy on, sa auto orders na pang buy. So, buy natin 3.34. Gusto ko 3.33. Tapos, 5,000 shares ulit. So, ito na yung conditional orders. Yun. So, antayin natin ma-fill. Anyway, so basically, yun na yun. That's um, conditional orders. Auto buy on. Siyempre, di ko na napakita yung buy on breakout kasi matagal nga. mag na mag-breakout yung stock. But, in essence, pwede, ginawa ko na lang auto buy on support para mas madali. But, you can also do that yung auto buy on breakout. So, say you wanna buy dito, breakout of 3.37, lagay mo lang sa conditional order mo. Diba, lagay mo 3.37. So, pwede rin ganyan. Right? It's 5,000. O, ito ba yung malupit? Pwede ka mag-set ng... Deka lang. Ang bagal lang aking laptop. Ay! Ah, sumagad na pala sa dito. So, wait. So, say 2,000 shares. Yun. Kasi may mga rules tayo sa allocation eh. So, actually, pwede mo rin gawin. Eto, teka. Ayan, yun no. Dalawang order. So, meron ako isang auto buy on support. Meron ako isang auto buy on breakout. So, una na lang kung ano una mangyari. So, yun yung solid. Right? And then next, so antayin natin na may ma-execute na auto buy order. Pero nakita niya kanina yung auto sell natin, tumama sa auto TP, hindi sa auto cut. Pero ganoon lang din yun, sa MM kanina kita niyo yung may notif dito. Ay no. Pending order hit MM sold 5 ano 5000 5, shares at 3.07. Yung last order type naman is what you call um GTC or good till cancelled orders. Kasi actually, if you go to conditional again, let's um use MM as an example again. Now, if you go to conditional, we'll see at the bottom, meron tayong end of date, meron order expiry the end of date, tsaka until I cancel. So, if you go back to MM here, so the bid and ask. So, current price is 3.07. Ito, set tayo ng autocad. Okay, bisa natin. Bibili mo, sorry, bibili ko muna si MM, 5,000. Bye. Tapos, ay, mali. You want to sell MM, conditional, 5,000 at uh, 3.06 So, di ako mag-set ang target price So, guys Yung pwede nyo gawin is Pwede nyo choose until I cancel So, set ko lang yung order What does until I cancel mean? So, as you can see Iba yung order expiry, no? Ito, end of day, end of day No expiry So, yung until I cancel Means the order will stay active in the system Until i-cancel mo dito sa pending orders tab So, itong mga end of day order Kapag hindi yan na-execute Hindi tumama yung presyo sa mga or Sa sinet mo Right? And naiwan lang siya dyan. At the end of the day, yung after market close, mawawala yan, ma-auto cancel. But, if we choose ito, yung no expiration, yung mangyayari is, dyan lang siya hanggang tumama. So, yung maganda ngayon dito is, um, not only can you set conditional orders para mag-auto buy, auto buy, you don't have to do it every day. Diba? Say, busy ka talaga. You can actually do it every other day. Parang iset mo lang orders mo, lagay mo, i-click mo, until I cancel, para nandun lang siya hanggang tumama sa parameters mo. So, this way, hindi mo talaga need masyado bantayan if hindi kaya, silip-silip lang. Pero basta andun yung orders mo, auto-execute yan. So, that's the advantages ngayon. So, again, if you are an OFW na iba yung time zone, if you are a, work, a person who's working and has a hard time doing alt-tab or busy-busy ka lang, kahit work from home, there's an option you can do. It will take you probably 15 minutes of your time to set it in the morning. Basta may training plan ka na ginawa the night before. You're a student having online classes and you don't know how to balance it. You can use conditional orders. Tapos, lagay mo pa ng jeep ng until I cancel para hindi mawala. Or if you're, ano lang, if you're an alt-tab warrior, ano ba, ayun, you're a parent na tutulungan mo yung anak mo sa online class. Uh, that's one thing you can do. So, ayaw tumama no, sa autocat natin. Teka. Sana naman may tumama para mapakita ko na sa inyo. Sige, waits natin, waits natin for a while. But basically, uh, that's how, um, that's the three types of orders we can do. Again, we have your market price, we have, um, we have market price, we have conditional orders, good till cancelled. And then, in the next um, tutorial video, papakita ko sa inyo paano naman gamitin yung shorting. Kasi ba sa trading cup, meron na shorting ito. Short. Pero on a separate video para hindi masyado mahaba to. Right. And meron din akong uh, interview with si Trading Comedy, a good friend of ours sa Investagrams. Kasi siya, nag-short talaga siya sa platform, yung sa My Portfolio Vtrade niya. He's trying to practice shorting. So, na-experience niya, what's it like shorting, PSE, at least virtually. So, spot natin yun sa YouTube or Facebook page natin. 
And yun, antayin lang na, na natin na may... may... Ayan na, tumama na sa cut loss natin na 3.06 si Mary Mart. Yun, solid. So, if we yan, may MM tayo dito, di ba? And then, if we uh, fresh it, uh, we'll see na wala tayong order. So, na-auto-cut na siya. So, tiga tayo notification, yan. So, pending order, hit MM, sold 3.06. Kung balik natin yung pending orders, yun, nawala na siya. Then, if you go to our records, ayun, MM, may loss tayo. So, yun yung, basically, yun yung power. Kahit ng conditional orders, um, auto-cut. So, meron auto-cut, auto-target profit, tapos auto-buy on the breakout or auto-buy on support. Tapos, um, pwede mo rin gawin yung nga, lagyan mong until I cancel para kung busy ka talaga, um, E1 orders lang yun. So, that's it for this video guys. Hopefully, nakatulong to for those sa baguhan pa lang sa trading cup. And if I questions kayo, just comment down below and we'll do our best to answer it for you guys. So, um, di pa, if di pa kayo nasa sa trading cup, I'll just put the link um, in the comments or in the caption. And to those um, who are already part, I wish you all well and I wish you all good luck for this year's Instagram Trading Cup 2020.